Welcome back everybody to another Halloween haunt review where I take a look at one of your Halloween displays and uh, give you my thoughts and reactions as we look at it together. Uh, we did this a couple of weeks ago, got pretty good feedback from you all. It seemed to be like a fun thing to do, so I figured we would do this every couple of weeks maybe as, uh, as we get the opportunities. So um, if you are interested in having me take a look at your haunt, you can go ahead and make sure that your name is on the list, which I keep on our Facebook page at uh, Happy Haunting. And you can check out that Facebook group. There is a, a thread that has the names of everybody who has expressed interest, and you can make sure that your name is on that list if you want uh, me to take a look at your haunt. And I thought the fairest way to do that would be to take everybody's names, throw them into the bowl here, and then we're just going to randomly draw a name. So I'm going to go ahead, give it a nice mix, and uh, I guess we will just draw a name here randomly and see whose haunt we're going to be visiting today. That person is Mini DK number nine. So congratulations, Mini DK number nine. Let's go ahead and open up the computer here and take a look. All right, before we begin the video, I just wanted to give a quick background on this video, simply because this was the comment. It was left on my last video back when I had asked people to leave comments on the video instead of my Facebook group page. Um, but his comment said, great stuff. I did my first pirate-themed Halloween this year. It was a little challenging with COVID, and hopefully next year I can move things around a bit. And there's the link. He says, it was also the first time I set up the yard to sync certain events to video, etc. The custom pirate video we mapped was done by a good friend, and I did the Canon design and computer software to run the show up front. Of course, I replied, um, you know, I want to keep it a surprise. So I haven't watched the whole video, but I did take a quick peek at it just earlier today, as a matter of fact. And it was, it looks like it's going to be an amazing haunt. So go ahead and click it here. But before we watch it, now, this brings us to Paul's page. Um, I don't know if if this is the same person, but um, if we want to take a quick look here, just in case. So Paul's page here has a lot of interesting videos. Let's take a quick look at the About section. He does 3D artwork and videos, um, so check out his page if you're interested. But um, certainly... This might be the only Halloween related one, but there are lots of interesting things, including the Batmobile, um, which clearly Paul's interested in. But let's go ahead and get back to the haunt. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen and hit play. And let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, first of all, loved the intro. Um, always like a little bit of effort put into these videos. That makes it amazing. I love this backdrop that you've got strung between a couple of trees here with looks like a pirate and the, the ship's wheel there. I really like that backdrop. I did some backdrops myself in my garage a couple of years back, but it don't, they don't appear to have been that big. So I'm wondering... Was this custom made? Like, did somebody paint that? Um, or was that something you could buy? Because I love it. I might have to steal one. Love the, uh, the thunder and the lightning effects. You know, it is, it's not that typical. Like, I bought a thunder and lightning product from the at-home store, and I did a review on it a couple of years ago, and it was just awful. So this is clearly a pro setup um, because it's got a much more randomized lightning effect. I love it. And here is, we've got it paused. You can see we've got a couple of tombstones um, in front of the display as well, and it looks like the display continues on behind. So I don't know if this looks like it might be at the front of the house, just giving an introduction into uh, the haunt. But let's go ahead and continue. Oh, we've got the singing pumpkins over here. Um, I can't quite hear what they're singing, but I wonder if it might be that sea shanty uh, that we reviewed a little bit earlier this year. Uh, 
Oh no, sorry, I guess we were hearing that. That's the Yoho Yoho of Pirate's Life for Me song. There we go. I like the lighting effects, the green and the blue. I'm sure that comes across a little less effective in the video. It probably looked amazing at night. Got some more pirates over here. Oh, look at that. Is that because the skeleton is glowing? I wonder what kind of uh, lighting they put in there to make that happen. But here we go. We've got the projection mapping on the house. Really makes it a very 3D effect. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. Gotta pause it there. That is that is impressive. I loved how the cannons have that recoil and then you see the the cannonball effects going into the projection mapping. Um this takes some serious skill, I am impressed. I'm just kind of at a loss for words. This is amazing. Pause it real quick there. Of course, this is a Home Depot guy, and I think we saw the other one on the barrel. I bought those uh, two years ago as well. Love them. You can never have enough pirate skeletons. Um, of course, we've got some stanchions going on here. I did a tutorial on how to make some stanchions not too long ago. Um, so just a FYI, if you're looking for some cheap and easy ways to um, do that. In fact, the ones that I made have that plastic dollar store chain that you can put across, which might be an interesting effect. But actually, what I would think would be an amazing effect here is if we put, um, if we made this almost look like a fortress with like the, the battlements, like it's uh, you know, on top of a castle and it's shooting across. Um, I don't know if you could do something with the driveway, maybe got all these lighting effects going on here, maybe put some um, waving uh, light. Uh, it's kind of like swirly blue lights to make it look like it might be water. That could be kind of an interesting effect. But uh, it's just amazing. Let's keep going. The kids obviously seem to love it. That fire is actually pretty cool. It uh, makes it very three-dimensional. Oh, well, just rewind it. Of course, I'm an idiot. I was so focused on, you know, the pirate ships in the background that it's kind of hard. Oh, let's rewind it just a little bit more, in fact. You know, of course, the driveway tiles continue right into the screen here to give it that much more 3D effect. Um, very cool. I, I didn't pick up on that originally just because I was, I think, so overwhelmed, but um, that's a nice detail there. Let's keep going. Oh, 
Well, that's pretty neat. They made it a whole little adventure of the kids. That's nice when you've got the actors playing along. And then, of course, there's this guy here. Master, it be too late to alter colors later. And there be plundering pirates lurking in every cove. Waking to fall And what well we work later. Dead men, now no pain. I love the lighting effects going on over there. Very ethereal as we move here into the graveyard. I cannot wait to see. This is so exciting. I love this haunt. I'm not sure. Is that supposed to be... Is that a witch? I, I can't quite tell. Is that a witch over a cauldron? I'm wondering if that's supposed to move at all. It looks like everything else is so well animated. I would have almost expected it to be doing something as well. Oh, look at that. I have ghostly pirate effect in the distance. And of course there's a ghost itself. He's climbing out. Wow. And then over here we have the, the lighting on the tombstone with the skeleton hands coming out. There's just so much to see, so much going on. Now, yeah. He is on his pirate ship, his ghostly ship. It's very quiet. I'm almost wondering if there should be just a little bit more background music or, or something, but perhaps it's just what oh, we're not hearing. There's the creepy skeleton coming out. Oh, and there's the, the numbers on the tombstone that I think the original pirate was talking about. That might be the right combo. Yeah. The other visitors there have caught on as well. Let's see what happens. Was it 12? <laughs> I would have got it wrong. Oh, yeah, there's treasure in there. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is such a good idea. I love that they have to go on an adventure. It, and it ties into the treasure chest. That is just such a good idea. I don't know what to say. I'm blown away that, <laughs> you know, I, I kind of do a little bit of a pirate theme here going on as well, but uh, nothing nearly as cool as that. That was so impressive, and uh, I loved every minute of that. I've got so many good ideas that I'm going to steal. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for submitting your haunt for us to take a look at. I am sure everyone watching was just as amazed as I was. And if anyone else out there again wants to take, uh, wants me to take a look at your haunt and share with everybody, I'd be more than happy to. Just again, uh, be sure to put your name on our list over on the Facebook group page and uh, maybe your name will be drawn next. So special thanks again to uh, Mini DK9 
So that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, stay safe, take care, and happy haunting.